Today we are going to be taking a look at one of my favorite free hosting services of all time, Felix Nodes. Felix Nodes offers 4 gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of disk space for free. You can also make up to 3 of these servers per account for free. It has longer uptime than most free hosts, but you can also make it 24-7, which we will get to later. I made a video on Felix Nodes a while ago, but a lot of things have changed since then. So what are we waiting for? Let's get crafting. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get to be as cool as Crafted Croy? And the answer to that, my friend, is like and subscribe. Please just do it. I'm desperate. Now, I know I said that I wasn't going to make videos on free hostings anymore, but these videos just aren't getting views, and I never said that I was going to stop making videos on free hostings. Well, I might still make a few videos on free hostings. All right, so the first thing you want to do is head to the first link in the description, and that'll take you here. And we want to go ahead and register with Google because that's just the best option. And select your Google account. You could also log in with Discord or just create an account, but it's easiest just to use Google. And now we just want to accept their terms. And now to create your server, the first thing you want to do is scroll down and click create server. There are ads, but that's how free hostings fund their servers. So don't try to use an ad, ad blocker or anything. So we can create our server name. And now we want a server domain. So you can connect to this and then they'll give you another one too. So you have two different domains you can connect with. And accept it and then click create. And there we go. We just have to wait a few seconds and then we should be able to manage it. We can just click manage. All right, so now we need to install our version. So we can do that by going to here, our server management, going to version slash software. I'm going to be running a paper server. So we want to go to right here and select 1.20.1. And now we just wait a little bit and our version has been installed. There are so many ads. Now we just go to our console and we just want to click start. And now our server will start up. We just have to wait a little bit for it to start. It's going to take a little bit longer the first time because it has to like create the worlds and create all the files. But then after that, it should start up a lot faster. Now, while we wait for our server to start up, I'm going to show you a cool feature that this hosting has. It's called this timer. So basically after one hour, your server will shut down. So you can go to add time here. And we're not going to join that right now. And there are these super renews, which basically what you have to do, you invite three people, and then you can renew your server for 24 hours. 24 hours. And it'll be online that long. So now we just need to wait 20 seconds, and then we can click add time, and then that'll add an entire hour that our server will be online for. And then we just click add time. So as we can see, our server has now started up, and if you take a look right here, the timer, our server will stop in about two hours. So we added about one hour to that amount of time. So you can just keep doing that and add a whole bunch of time. You could like, if you really wanted to, you could probably add years. I haven't tried that, but don't quote me on that. Now there's one more thing we need to do just to make sure our server works. We want to go to file manager and then we want to look for our server.properties. And then we want to come here and look for enforce secure profile. And we're going to set that to false just because this messes with the game and causes a lot of issues. And if you are cracked, which means you don't have a premium version of Minecraft, you can set online dash mode to false. And that way you can join with a free version of Minecraft. But you should probably go check out my video about making a crack server because there are a few things you have to do just to make sure that it works properly. And now we just want to go back to our console and restart our server a few moments later okay so now that our server is online we can go ahead and join so what we want to do is go up here and as you can see we have two different IPs I'll get to this IP in a second but for now we're going to join with this IP so you can click control C and then you just paste that into the game and you can join okay so here we are in Minecraft 1.20.1 what we can do is go and click multiplayer now we want to go and click add server, paste that little IP in, click done, and now we can join our server. And here we go. If you're wondering why my skin's a girl, it's because I was doing like recording. So what was the Great Depression like? 
it was fine. Okay, so what if your server shuts off but you still have players that want to play? What you can do is give them your alternate IP, which is this game3.felixserver.net IP, and we can go ahead and copy that. Okay, so now all we have to do is, is paste it into here and wait 20 seconds. So this is good so you can have people that can start the server up and you don't actually have to give them console access. And then we can just click start server. And there we go, it has now been started. Hey, thank you for watching until the end. You are now an absolute gaming legend. If you have any issues setting up your server or if you need more help, feel free to leave a comment or join my Discord or join the Felix Discord, which will both be linked in the description below. You can also feel free to join all three of my Minecraft servers, which will be in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe and do all that YouTube garbage, but until next time, I will see you on the other side. It has a longer uptime than most free hosts, but it has a longer uptime than most free hosts, but it's I am so bad at talking. Oh my hockey.